First we're gonna put some water in the balloon. Ah, we got full balloon of water, but this balloon haven't been blown up. The next we're gonna blow up this balloon. And then we're gonna tie it up. And then we're gonna need to light up the candle. So as you can see, the water inside the balloon, if you put the balloon over the fire, it's supposed to burst, right? But it doesn't. Check it out. This is just burnt spot because of water. You know what happening? The water distributing the heat so the balloon doesn't pop because of that. The water might be like a little warmer now, but check it out, it just doesn't pop. And let's try this other balloon, place it over the fire without water. Check it out. Right away, it blows up. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna blow up the balloon. And then we're gonna try and put this curl to the balloon. You see? It popped easily. You see it popped easily. Let's try this again. But this time I'm gonna put soap on my fingers like that. Soap it up. And put that soap on this curl right here. Like soap it up pretty nicely you know you know you gotta lubricate it all right soap it up nicely like this all the way and let's start to do the same thing see if it will work right here to this bottom on the top let's see you see it didn't pop this time and then you see my scroll is too um, not tall enough so we gotta let the balloon check it out we got a hole in the balloon and it just like not popped you know so weird so I let the air come out a little bit so I can put the scroll all the way through ouch and then we're gonna come out on the other side check it out you see You see, and it's not popped. Then you're gonna need an empty bottle, and I put the balloon in there. As you can see, it's not inflated or anything, just up here. And we're gonna do some cool experiment with that. So, first of all, I'm gonna put bottle in the water, you know, soak it in, even like that, sideways. Spin it around, make sure it's all cold and nice. And then I'm gonna put it in a hot water and we'll see what happens with that. Pay attention at the balloon. To make that faster, we can put the bottle sideways and spin it. Let's see what happens. Check it out. And the balloon inflates like that. All we need is cut a bunch of piece of papers like that. And then we're gonna need a balloon. Don't forget about safety is number one priority. Get your sister a coat or something with a fur. Rub it up and just point it at you guys. And you see how they jump up and fly. Check this one out. Pretty cool, huh? So first I'm gonna put this balloon inside of a balloon, squeeze it in and there, both of them. The clear one is gonna be on the, on the outside, the, the one with the color is gonna be on the inside. And then I'm gonna grab and blow, blow up the clear one first, kinda just like this. Just this much. And then I'm gonna close the hole and blow up the blue one, that one, the, that inside. Not too bad. 
go. <laughs> nice. Alright guys, I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine balloons and then I'm gonna put this coffee table on top of balloons and guess what, they did not pop even though this table is pretty heavy talking about weight distribution but that's not epic enough I'm gonna stand on top of it and see if they're gonna pop or not Try to gonna distribute my weight on the whole thing and you see my hands are right here I'm standing just on the balloons that's it and they do not pop how crazy is that you see how wobbly I am whoa I'm trying to get, grab you guys over here so you can see you see how they sticking out from the side over there and over here and over there and whoa it's really wobbly but they do not pop how is it possible you know how balloons how how tiny they are and now i'm gonna try to jump on them and you see they still do not pop all right i'm gonna get off whoo and guess what balloons all alive, all alive, not popped. So what we're gonna do is grab some kind of fur ball and rub it on a firm, just like that, to get that static electricity. As you can see, I don't have any air here, so I'm gonna use Luke to get that static electricity. Cool boy, Luke, cool boy. I think he likes it, what do you guys think? Look, you like it? Anyways, I think it's static enough. Now I'm gonna move over here. Now I'm gonna turn on the water and look how from far away it's already trying to attract and some of the drops even flying into the balloon. Look how crazy it is. Boil it, put it in the microwave for about a minute and then Put the balloon on top of the bottle. Let's do it. Uh, here you go. The bottle will be pretty hot, so use safety. You know, do not just grab it with your hands, and then grab your balloon and put it over. Like this. Make sure this thing like right here in the middle. To speed up this reaction, grab a bottle and put it in the cold water. Let's see what happens. You see it sucks the balloon in real quick now. Tell me in comments how does that work. Scientifically. We're gonna cut this bottle even more, oh, like this size. Like that, we don't need that. And then we're gonna grab this balloon and stick to the bottle, like that. And put it over the cup, like this. You know, so you got, you can hold it by here and shoot like that. So you stick this thing right here and you can shoot it like that. And this guard is, if you go sideways, it will like, you know, with the stick or like balloons, whatever you're gonna put here, if you go sideways, it's gonna might hit your hand. So this is like a guard for you. So let's shoot it. Yeah, you can kill some squirrels and whatever and so on. This is like very simple bow you can shoot with. It, maybe even for better way to do it, you can even cut this side right here. Keep this one right here, cut it one more time. We're gonna use this part and just again 
and again stick the balloon in like this pull it too then go up by the ends like that and put it over all the way all the way down and you can use you see pull it pull up a little bit and you can use this thing right here like interviewing it twice and put it over the cup so that nothing will cut, fall out now you can shoot like whatever you want even like small rocks and whenever you pull it it's gonna shoot out everything and if you want to pull it back in just stick your finger in it even blow you see you see i got a small butter let's see if it's gonna shoot it so you're gonna pull on it and yeah it should arrive and ricochet check it out we're gonna grab our baking soda and fill it up in the bottle all right we got here a lot of baking soda and then we're gonna put vinegar in there and put the balloon on top of it real quick as soon as we're gonna pour some vinegar in there gonna put quite a lot too so gotta be quick check it out will it will it blow up a lot and we blow up the balloon with the vinegar and uh, baking soda. Pretty cool, huh? Cool, huh? Cut it all the way. Before you're gonna remove it, grab a rubber band and put it right on apple like this. And put it all to together just like that. 